Hey folks, Mountain Mark here, and uh, I'm going to uh, kind of go through the process here of identifying mushrooms. Um, here we have uh, a mushroom that I picked up in the woods, and for the sake of this uh, exercise, I'm going to pretend I don't know what it is. And I've got a couple bucks. Um, this one here, Simon and Schuster's Guide to Mushrooms. Um, and this one is National Audubon Field Guide to Mushrooms. And um, these are the two books that were recommended to me when I first started um, gathering mushrooms. And uh, they've worked great. And so I th figured I'd just share that with you guys, um, the basic procedure here. Um, so as far as the Simon & Schuster guide goes, it's... Uh, and I believe it was uh, Gary Linkoff who made the keys in this book, the Green Pages. Okay, and um, uh, Simon and Schuster wrote the rest of it. The keys are all that we're really interested in uh, in this book, and um, they're, they're the most easily uh, navigated, and uh, you know, and they're the best keys that I've seen. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go through the process, yeah, just to give you an idea how it works. Okay, so there's a description here in the beginning on how to. So, so you're gonna you're gonna want to get this book, really both of these books. You're gonna want to get as many books as, as uh, you can. Um, but these are the, the the two for starters that I would go with. All right. So we're gonna open it up. So we have with stipe and cap and gills beneath. No, we have pores. All right. So it says with stipe and cap and pores beneath. Now a stipe is basically a stem um, and th there's a uh, um, glossary in the back if you um, lose, uh, you know, if you don't understand the terminology it'll help you out. Um, so it says to go to page 64. Alright, so we're going to skip ahead to page 64 and it's going to walk us through it, okay? Um, are the tubes detachable or are the tubes not detachable? Okay, so we're going to look at this. Do these tubes separate out? Can we can we peel them off? I guess it's kind of t difficult with one hand. Um, so I'm going to set this down for just a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so we see the tubes are detachable, okay? We were able to peel the cap off and the tubes come out. They're not fused to the cap, all right? So that means that we're gonna move on to two. Um, 2A, fruit bodies large. Um, nope, I was gonna say, that doesn't make sense. The wind changed the page on me. Um, Two, uh, with eccentric to lateral stipe, or none. Take that back. We're on the wrong page again. 64 is what we're looking for. Okay, two, uh, stipe central, typically terrestrial. Okay, so the the, the stipe um, goes right up centrally into the cap. Terrestrial means it's just growing on the ground rather than wood. If it's that, it's a boletus, stipe lateral, liver red on wood. Okay, so it's not a lateral stop and it, uh, stem and it's not on wood. So that means that we have a boletus, okay? Now, that's as far as this guide will take me, you know? I, I can go in the back of this book and I can find boletus and I can basically um, go through their guidebook, but I like this guidebook better. So I go in the back of this book And we are going to find Boletus. Okay. And we're finding the Boletes. 
we're going to find where these are discussed, okay? So, we are in the five, uh, um, five sixties, um, and up. So we're going to come back over. So now we're getting into the Belit family here. And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to re read through them. And they're, they're pretty, you know, usually the first um, quick description um, will give you uh, an idea here. And For some reason my, my screen went a little bit dark on me. Um, so shaggy stalked bleat, slimy, smooth apricot yellow cap, yellowish pores, and shaggy stalk. Okay, that's not what we have. <clears throat> so you don't even have to bother going through that. And, and, and you just go that through. You know, just keep flipping the pages until you get um, towards something that um, um, this sounds from, familiar to the mushroom that you have. Large with reddish brown cap. Okay, that's what we have. White to yellowish pores. Okay, we have yellowish pores. <clears throat> Whitish to brownish stock. Yep. Yeah. Um, thickening toward the base. So, you know, you can see that. See, it's thickening towards the base, right? So so far so good on on, on this identification. And um, um, my screen is getting a little bit uh, dark, but I'm hoping that. Um, it's just uh, saving energy and it's actually recording brighter than it looks. If not, we won't use this video. Um, so it, then it goes through the descriptions and you go through and everything, you know, so, so it's uh, three and a half to ten inches wide. Uh, the cap is convex, becoming nearly flat, moist, sticky in wet weather, pretty dry weather right now, um, smooth to somewhat pitted. And um, that matches um, sometimes cracking in dry weather, brown, reddish brown, or cinnamon buff, and the flesh is white. Okay, so we looked at the flesh. It's definitely um, white flesh. Um, and we go on, and you, basically you want all of the description to line up. Um, Stock four to ten inches, white webbed. Okay, so it says there's some white webbing um, towards the top, and it gets darker as it goes down. So let's see if we can witness that with this mushroom. It's whiter webbing up here, and it gets darker as it gets down towards the base. Okay, so that description matches. Um, spore print olive brown. Well, I set these out here to get a spore print, but there's an olive brown spore print right on the stalk here. Sometimes you'll see that if it's, you know, come up at an angle. Um, definitely olive brown spore print. So that matches up. Then it'll tell you um, for edibility it's choice. It's the season, June to October. We're in October now. Habitat on the ground under conifers, deciduous trees. Um, this was under hemlock. When you're out in the woods and you gather a mushroom, always take note of uh, where you found it, what type of trees are around, um, range. You wanna, you wanna see if it's actually in your area. Um, and it says widely distributed. Um, then uh, the reason I really like this guide is it has lookalikes. So then once you think you have the mushroom that you found, you can go look up the other mushrooms. Um, so the Belitus uh, variops has dry tan cap and grows under oak. Okay, well, that is there was no oak anywhere around. Um, and uh, this is much more a, uh, a reddish brown cap than tan. So we know it's not that. Uh, Tylopilus phallus has dark webbed stalk, is very bitter. Okay, so that, that would be uh, the bitter bully. 
um, and uh, this is this definitely does not have um, uh, the dark webbing um, that you would find on the bitter bolete. So we've ruled out the lookalikes, um, also called uh, sep or stein pills. The king is one of the most prized edible mushrooms. Has many varieties of different color, shape, and habitat, but all are good to eat. So we we, we have this narrowed down to Boletus edulis, and um, th we know it's a good edible mushroom. Um, it's uh, you know definitely one of the most sought after. Um, we'll talk about it in a different video. Um, but that's the basic process. So once you have the mushroom that, that, that fits every description, including spore print, you always want to have a spore print, then you can um, look up the lookalikes and compare characteristics. And um, if you can rule out the characteristics of the lookalikes, then you can be 100% sure that you have your mushroom. And that's basically the way it works. Now, I'm going to post some videos here on... Um, a variety of different mushrooms and uh, I just want you to know that they're all mushrooms that I've eaten I'm 100% certain of their identification um, but uh, you know having said that I'm not going to be responsible for uh, anybody's lack of due diligence and following the prescribed procedure for making a 100% identification um, if you see a video and you say oh I, I that looks like the mushroom that I have and you don't go up and and uh, and go through the the guides and and form a positive identification and you get sick you know it's not my fault it's yours um, it's your job to um, be cautious you know your, your life is worth that much and so um, you know in, in short that's uh, that that's a, a quick um, you know um, description of the way it works you know, if you were to have a, uh, you know, a gilled mushroom, for instance, the first thing it's going to ask you is for a spore, pr spore color, okay? Now, the way you do that, I use glass, um, because no matter what color the spore print is, it'll, it'll show up on glass, whether it's light or dark. Um, if you want, you can use a black piece of paper with a, with a um, white piece of paper and just kind of, you know, laminate it so that you can wipe it off and reuse it. Um, or you can, you know, I, I prefer glass, but, but there's, you know, as long as is, is that cap, when you set it down, see this here, you know, we have a white spore print. As long as that cap is, is kind of half on black and half on white, and um, so no matter what color the spore print is, it'll show up, right? Um, so that's, you know, that's the basic, very basic, um, way to identify mushrooms and and um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos and uh, I'll, I'll watch back through this one I sorry I got a little um, messed up with watching the screen and the book and having the wind blow things around but there you have it this is the process I use and a lot of times you know you'll get in here to one of these books and nothing will match the description you know you have it narrowed down to family with this guide but you know, this isn't an all-inclusive book, and neither is that, you know, so it's a good idea to have a lot of books so that you can, you know, keep looking. Um, and, you know, if you, if you find a mushroom that you have no idea what it is and none of your guidebooks will tell you, then, you know, just toss it back in the woods. That's okay. There's enough edible mushrooms out there that are, that are easy enough to identify that you don't have to worry about trying to make it fit, you know. So... You know, oh, and I forgot to mention the last thing you do, you know, once you have um, the, uh, you know, everything matches in the description, um, then you, there are pictures, you know, so you can go back over, um, see right here it'll say 405, so picture number 405, and we'll look at that, okay. So we have a picture here of essentially the mushroom that we have here, all right? You know, and the pictures can be a little deceitful, and that's one of the reasons that you don't want to look at the pictures first is because, you know, you, the tendency to try and make it fit, um, and that's not what we're doing here. We, we, we're, we're making a 100% identification. We're not going to try and make it fit. Um, so 
that's a kind of a, a really rough, rough, but uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy the videos.